I had just started my new job as a security guard at an old, mostly abandoned shopping center slated for demolition. I needed the extra money to support my family, and the night shift paid well, though the place had an eerie reputation. Local whispers spoke of strange occurrences and unexplained sounds, but I wasn't superstitious. I believed in hard facts and logical explanations. My first few nights were uneventful. I walked the empty corridors, checked the security cameras, and occasionally scared off a stray cat or two. But on the fifth night, something changed. It was past midnight when I noticed a flicker on one of the security monitors. A faint, wavering light appeared in the food court. Thinking it was a malfunction, I decided to check it out. As I approached the food court, I saw that the lights were indeed flickering, casting long, dancing shadows across the deserted space. I called out, Hello? Is anyone there? My voice echoed back to me, unnervingly empty. I tried to shrug it off and continued my patrol, but I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. A few hours later, I was in the surveillance room reviewing the footage. Suddenly, I saw something that made my blood run cold. On the screen, a shadowy figure moved swiftly across the food court, disappearing into one of the service corridors. I rewound the footage and watched it again, but the figure was gone, like it had never been there. I decided to investigate. As I walked down the service corridor, the temperature seemed to drop. I could see my breath in the air, even though it was the middle of summer. The corridor led to a storage room, and the door was slightly ajar. I pushed it open, and a chill ran down my spine. Inside, the room was filled with old mannequins, their lifeless eyes staring blankly ahead. In the dim light, their shadows seemed to move, making them look almost alive. I turned to leave, but I heard a faint whisper, like someone calling my name. I froze and listened, my heart pounding in my chest. The whisper grew louder, more insistent. It sounded like a woman's voice, pleading and desperate. I turned back towards the mannequins and shone my flashlight on them, and that's when I saw her. A pale woman in a tattered dress stood among the mannequins, her eyes glowing with an unnatural light. She whispered something I couldn't understand, but her voice was like nails on a chalkboard. Paralyzed with fear, I watched as she moved closer, her feet not touching the ground. My heart raced, and I tried to scream, but no sound came out. Just as she reached out to touch me, the lights flickered, and she vanished, leaving me alone in the room, gasping for breath. I bolted out of the storage room and ran back to the surveillance office. My hands were shaking as I called my supervisor and told him what had happened. He listened quietly and then said, you're not the first to see her. The shopping center was built on the site of an old hospital. They say a nurse went mad and killed several patients before taking her own life. Her spirit is said to haunt this place. I didn't return to work the next night. I couldn't. The experience left me deeply shaken. But I couldn't forget what I saw, and sometimes, late at night, I can still hear her whispers echoing in my mind. The shopping center has since been demolished, but I know that her spirit still lingers, trapped in the shadows of the past. So, if you ever find yourself walking past that empty lot where the shopping center once stood, listen carefully. You might hear her too.